Let's take a look at custom subtabs. We'll see the options you have to create them and discuss some best practices for using them. First, how to create custom subtabs. You have two options. You can either create them on the custom subtabs page by navigating to customization, forms, subtabs. Alternatively, you could create them by going to customization, forms, subtabs, new. This method will take you directly to the official page for creating new subtabs. The only difference between creating subtabs on this page versus creating them on the custom subtabs page is that here you can specify a script ID. When you create a custom subtab, you have the following options. First, you have record options. What record do you want to house your subtab? The four main record types are transaction, item, CRM, and entity. When you create a new subtab, you will need to choose one of these record types for your subtab to live on. You also have some organization options. One way you can organize a new subtab is by connecting it to a parent subtab. A parent subtab is a pre-existing subtab that your new subtab would appear under. A parent subtab could be either a native NetSuite subtab or a custom subtab. Notice that the list of options under the parent field are specific to the record type you have already selected. Note also that you cannot keep building on this hierarchy. You can only have parent-child subtabs, not parent-child-grandchild subtabs. Another way you can organize your subtabs is by changing the order they would appear on the record. To do this, use the move up, move down, move to top, and move to bottom buttons on the custom subtabs page. The final key option is that you can enter a translation for your custom subtabs for other languages that your company uses besides the one you have set as your preferred language. You can add these translations directly on the custom subtabs page while you are creating a new subtab. You can also go back and add a translation for previously created custom subtabs. Note, however, that you can provide translations only for languages that NetSuite supports and only the languages that have been added for your company in the languages subtab under general preferences. In addition, the translations for custom subtabs cannot exceed 50 characters. After you create a custom subtab, you should be aware of a few things that will simplify your use of them. First, once you create a subtab, it won't appear on the record until the subtab has at least one field located in it. So if you're not seeing a subtab you created, chances are you haven't added any fields to it yet. Second, if you ever need to edit the name of a custom subtab, you can do that on the custom subtabs page. You can also add a translation of the subtab in a different language from this page. However, you cannot change either the script ID, the record type the subtab appears on, or the parent subtab. If you want to move a subtab from one record type to another, you would need to delete the initial subtab entirely and create a similar subtab for the other record type. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SuiteRep can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at SuiteRep.com.